This is calculator question 32 from the May 2019 International Exam. College Board gives us two equations and asks for the y coordinate at the point of intersection. They're asking you to solve a system of equations. In this case, one of them is nonlinear, but it's a calculator question, so I'm just going to graph them. If I put y equals x minus 1 squared and y1, and y equals 2x minus 3 and y2, and select so zoom 6, I get a parabola that just touches the x-axis at x equals 1, and I get a line with a slope of positive 2 that seems to touch that parabola. And then if I use the intersect feature, one of the features of the graph and calculator, second trace for calculate on my TI-84 or 83, scroll down to choice 5 for intersect, hit enter, and then hit enter three times, it says the point of intersection is at x equals 2, y equals 1, and they're asking for the y coordinate, so y equals 1, I would bubble in 1. You can do this by hand, and it may be fast if you're good with quadratics. If these two curves intersect, then the y values are equal, so x minus 1 squared equals 2x minus 3. FOIL gives me x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 2x minus 3. If I subtract 2x from both sides and add 3 to both sides, I get x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. That's a perfect square. x minus 2 squared equals 0 when I factor it. So x minus 2 equals 0. Add 2 to both sides. x equals 2. So the point of intersection occurs in an x value of 2. And y equals x minus 1 is 2 minus 1 quantity squared. So y equals 1 squared. y equals 1. In the other equation, y equals twice 2 minus 3 y equals 4 minus 3, y equals 1. Since I've got the same y value for x equals 2 in both equations, that confirms that it's the point of intersection, but I've already done that on the calculator. We can do this by hand or on the graph and calculator, and I find the graph and calculator much faster when we have that option for a system of equations. Come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.